Yeah, well, um, so my name is Bobby. I, um, I'm beginning to sell virtual cards to suppliers. So I know we had a conversation last week. Um, and so more context on the situation. Um, currently, the suppliers will be accepting uh, either one of check, ACH, or wire payments. And the suppliers will be selling software and hardware to Equifax. And so when I call, I'll be representing Citibank on behalf of Equifax. So that's the context. And um, Equifax has been sending emails to their suppliers. Um, and the emails basically say, we're writing to you about a new electronic process we're offering to our suppliers. A Citibank, Citibank rep will be reaching out to you, which will be me. Um, but my company wants me to tell uh, tell the suppliers about all the benefits. Um, I'll, I'll actually have information about the supplier, like, oh, you're so I see you're taking checks. I see your, you know, uh, terms are thirty. Um, and so the company I'm working for, they think that by having all this information up front about the company, about the suppliers, that it builds, you know, trust that way. So they don't, they want me to do it every, they want me to do this all in one call. Um, they think setting a Zoom call is kind of wait, um, prolonging the, the period. So the question is, is there any way I can do a one call sale on the initial call? Well, the question really is, how do you engage this person that doesn't know you yet? Correct. In one conversation around something he or she would like to talk to you about. The only thing people want to talk about is their own problems. So <laughs> what we got to do, Bobby, is just come up with an opening statement that starts the conversation in their world and not yours. Okay? So some of the fact of, you know, I'm just giving you a call to see if you'd be open to some different insights uh, on how to eliminate expenses you have right now that you're paying to the bank that you don't need to be paying and to add some more profitability to your business. Would you be open to that? Okay. Now I'm just making this up right now, but I'm trying to give you a sense of how you open a conversation around a problem that you solve. Now the data they gave you in advance about their activity, Correct. that's good to have that handy. Uh, and if it's appropriate, you can use it. Say, you know, I'm with XYZ company and we do have reports that let us know the transactions that you do and, and i see that you are using this and using that and we could possibly save you some opportunity on that with with what our what we do here would you be open to that so what the, the the message here bobby is this they have to be open first to your concept and the problem that they've got before they're ready to hear your information okay now i know you always say don't mention the company on the first call uh, I don't mind. I don't mind it in your case if the brand itself makes okay. sense to them. Um, okay. That's fine in your case. Yeah. If you're not, uh, yeah. If you're unknown, then obviously it's different. Okay. Um, just a couple more. Um, like in my situation, without Zoom or a second step, is there a way to do everything on one call? If they trust you enough, you know. But you got to you got to you got to gauge the conversation. If they're in the middle of some client phone call or report and they're busy, obviously you can't. You have no choice but to schedule a next step with them, right? So if you get somebody who's got nothing going on and you're engaging him around the problem and he's interested and you can walk through the process and he wants to move forward, then great. Yeah, it's possible. But you're going to have to adapt to, because it's an outbound, unprepared call in their world, it's an interruption in their space. You don't know where they're at right now. So you have to be sensitive to that. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. Just want to Absolutely, Bobby. Welcome back. Thank you so much.